Okay, so everything's planted. Did three shelling peas, three shelling peas, and then lettuce and lettuce. Filled them with the same amount of water, same amount of soil, and we'll see. One interesting thing is that the water that's run out of this pot is definitely darker not as clear as this one i have no idea what that means but we'll see and as a side note i can't believe i'm actually excited about this what has come of my life anyways we'll see okay so i forgot something we actually bought high-end compost from probably the best compost maker here um it was 50 bucks a yard. Um, it had whatever, 2% nitrogen. Um, and also cow manure in it. So um, you can see it's not super screened, but um, apparently it's very good. So that's the other one. So I'm gonna, it's not too hot here anymore. So I'm probably just gonna leave all this stuff here and then water it equally and yeah we'll just kind of see what happens all right okay <clears throat> so it's been two weeks since we started the experiment very scientific not really but pretty scientific uh we did one with bag compost um which is probably like the best um the best bag compost you can buy it's got manure in it green waste whole bunch of guarantees on how much nitrogen and um and it's other or, it's organic yeah organic materials in there and then we went to a compost facility and bought their premium blend and we talked to the guy and he said it's probably like some of the best stuff that you can buy on the island um he said something about two percent nitrogen which i don't know what that means um and then we have our own that we made um, the stuff that we made got, it was just like random stuff from the house that you throw, you know, on the, uh, on the street for the municipality to pick up. It was, um, like laurel hedges, grass clippings, um, ivy, old cabbage, old cabbage plants, um, Kitchen scraps. some sod. A lot of kitchen scraps. Um, anything else that you can think of? The uh, just clippings Mexican, from trees. The Mexican. Um, yeah. So just basically anything we get our hands on. So, anyways, it's been two weeks, and here are the results. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. So this is the bag compost. Um, I'm not sure what happened, um, but it definitely didn't do very well. Um, this is the stuff that we've been using for a couple of years in our garden because it's kind of like the most expensive and the easiest to get to, which is a little bit disappointing because, um, yeah, it's basically dying. Um, so it could have been transplant shock or something like that. But um, one thing I noticed when I was watering it is this stuff would stay um, like soggy almost, like super, super soggy. Um, and yeah, it just doesn't grow at all. So the it next. It does have some new leaves on it. Like it... right in the middle, it does have some new leaves. Yeah. And I think the other thing to mention is yeah, we grew a lot of stuff in here, but we also fertilized. Every two weeks, we had just a general fertilizer that we would use. Right. And so mm -hmm. our plants didn't look exactly like this, but. Not great. No. I would not eat that. No. Personally, not gonna eat that um so yeah so there's there's that stuff there okay and um, hold on okay okay so this is the second one that we got from mm -hmm. the compost facility this is um i think 50 bucks a yard so you can see it's quite fibrous um but they said that there was cow manure 
um, and an all organic material added to it. It was set out in windrows and then was aerated. So it wouldn't have overheated or any of that. So um, he said based on that, that this is probably the, some of the best stuff you can get in Victoria. Um, it's nice, it smells good, um, but this stuff really hasn't grown a whole lot um, at all, really. It's much healthier than the first one, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, after two weeks, it's still all alive. Um, it's not showing too much stress, maybe a little bit out on the end of the leaves. Um, so yeah, um, and again, 50 bucks, 50 bucks a yard okay. for this stuff. Okay, so this is the stuff that got way too hot, stunk really bad. I flipped briefly. it. Briefly. Yeah, briefly. I flipped it, I don't know, like seven times. We added a whole bunch of uh, uh, newspaper to it, uh, cardboard. Um, yeah, whatever we could do to try to cool it down because it was so hot. It was above 160 a lot of the times, which I hear is like not good for compost. But here's the results. Bam! So you can see there's absolutely no comparison between the three. It's kind of shocking. Um, I think it's the first thing that I've ever really grown really well. Um, and essentially it's free. So... Um, other than your hours of work. Yeah, other than the hours of work. So, um, but that's no problem because it's a good workout and I like, it's kind of fun doing it. So, um, yeah, pretty cool to get that amount of growth in just two weeks. Um, yeah. And what we're going to do after um for nerdy people is kind of break down um a cost analysis and then a time analysis on um how much this stuff costs per yard and then how much time this actually took and <clears throat> the heats and stuff that uh it went through the heat cycles and stuff like that okay cool. um one thing that we didn't show were the seeds that we started too oh yeah these are shelling peas, right? Shelling peas? Yeah. yeah. So, again, this is the expensive bag stuff. Uh, this is our homemade stuff. And then this is the uh, premium uh, blend from the compost facility. So, I mean, again, seeds kind of have the their own, uh, their own... They can basically grow in anything. Um, but it's kind of telling a bit right off the bat that, you know, again, it's struggling super, super um, bad in, in the expensive bag stuff. Uh, and these things almost look the same. This is actually a darker green. I don't know if the camera picks that up. Yeah. It's darker green. There's a few more leaves. Um, but that doesn't really mean all that much, right? But, um, yeah. And then this is the expensive premium blend. So we'll see. We will see. And no additives, like there's no peat or perlite or vermiculite added to any of these. They're just straight up, um, which is cool because, I mean, we keep being told that we need to, um, you know, buy premium potting or starter mix um, that has peat and perlite in it and a whole bunch of other good stuff. And this just came up raw compost um, from the garden and it's doing just fine. So I'm going to continue taking pictures of these every day and we'll kind of see where they're at in a few weeks.
All right, so this is kind of the breakdown of the, um, what was it, about 40 days to, to do the compost. These are the days down here, and then this is the temperature uh, in Fahrenheit. Uh, the temperature gauge I have um, is in Fahrenheit, so it's just the easiest way to, to do it. Um, the optimal kind of temperature is between anywhere below 160 to above 120 in this area here. Um, but yeah, I mean, when we built the pile, it was basically all green material with a few sticks and, you know, other things, very little carbon in it. So we just went with it. We didn't know any better. So we thought, let's try it. Um, so you can see we went through, we flipped it a couple times. Um, and then on the 16th, we flipped it again, added some water to it because it was getting a bit dry. And then the temperature came back up. Um, as you can see, and then on the uh, 24th, it looks like, or the, sorry, it was on the 23rd when we flipped it. I added a bunch of um, material to it. Um, it was like some a lot of grass clippings from my buddy Tom and some other, again, green waste stuff and um, added, I think, way too much water at that point. Um, so the temperature went way down and then came roaring back up, um, almost getting to 180. Well, 176. 176. So at that point, I mean, yeah, I kind of knew that we had way too much green stuff from the beginning, but at this point it was getting a little bit out of hand. So we got a bunch of newspaper, uh, cardboard, whatever we get our hands on for carbon. And then, um, flipped it on the 29th um, and that's when it stunk really bad because there was too much water way too hot created an anaerobic um, environment and so, I wouldn't say it stunk really bad it was pretty bad but it had a stink it was pretty bad um, yeah I basically thought I kind of screwed the whole thing up but whatever um, so yeah, and then we actually bought some straw from, um, a local place here too that cost us, I think it was like four bucks or something. So we just piled all that stuff in there and kind of prayed, um, and then go along and August, what was it? August 1st, we flipped it again. Um, we added more shredded paper, um, and we didn't add any water at this point. So it went down and then came back up. Again, these t temperatures are still quite high. Um, and then on the third, we flipped it again. And the seventh, I flipped it one last time before I went to, on, I went on vacation for like 10 days. So it just kind of sat. Um, and when I got back on the 17th, it was down to like 120, 117. And then it continued to go down a bit. And um, then we flipped it one last time and just kind of let it sit. And then at that point determined that we would start a new pile. Um, and yeah, so it just sat and then we started the um, compost experiment with it. So... And we did actually pull it out when it was the middle. Is, the middle is what we're measuring. So when we did the compost testing, we just pulled stuff from the outside that was cool. So technically, that stuff probably isn't done, quote unquote. No. But um, it was cool on the outside. So that's the part. Yeah. And we did. Did you uh, um, sift it? Yeah, I screened it. Okay. I screened it um, once. Okay. To get all the big woody pieces out. So, um, yeah, the temperature gauge is about two feet long that we have. So it goes down into the middle of the pile, which is what you want to do when you're measuring compost. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it. Um, it worked out awesome. As, I mean, you can see by the, the lettuce, we're super stoked about um, making more of it now. Um, and we've kind of refined it, so it's much kind of easier and um uh, more efficient so so yeah and if you made it this far you deserve to see something pretty cute so cute snowy
Snowy.